Hello girl. Why am I saying hello girl? <laughs> hello guys. Um, this is Makeup Out 100 and shout out to my PJs. Just saying I'm making this video. Okay, I tried to make this video like before but my battery was exhausted so I had like 4 minutes video then I had to put my battery on charging to charge it to make another video tonight because I'm on this point today. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about all the crap, but let's get started. Today we are here. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me today. But today we are here to learn some lesson about how to apply a foundation properly, like a pro. So, yeah! Thumbs up this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And, um... I shall talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, like, subscribe, and share it. I know you will, so do it. Alright guys, bye. Hello guys, um, today I'm here to show you guys how to apply a foundation correctly. I mean to say, um, like, like a pro. There we go. Okay, like, um, see, we all blessed with acne, and so am I, so we're gonna do a couple of techniques, which are gonna cover up a little bit of it. We're still gonna see some marks, but we're gonna cover it mostly, okay? So be patient with that. So, first of all, first of all I'm gonna start off, um, telling you a couple brushes. Um, great foundation brush if you apply it correctly with this, if you know how to use it, great. If you are new to the brand and don't like using this because it's give you those streaky lines sometimes, use something like this or that. Okay, um, that's the real technique. They are uh, professional brushes, they are super cheap, they give you good coverage, amazing money investment, okay? The second is this one. Um, it's, I had this one for a couple years. I don't know how much I bought it for, but it's been a couple years since I have that. So invest into um, this one. It's actually a powder brush, but I don't use it as a powder. I use it as uh, my foundation, and it gives me great coverage. And I still have a little bit in it. Oh. My battery actually died when I was recording the video, so you I mean the video and you guys are, I have to see the do the whole step. Okay. So the first of all I'm gonna use my uh, primer. Um it's an X primer. Any primer would work fine. Whatever works for you. Don't have to buy the exact product. So now I'm gonna use um, my foundation. I'm gonna take pump pump and a half like a full whole pump and I'm gonna try to cover up this side first and show you so I'm gonna push my hair back so they'll be out of my way I don't, I'm sorry I don't wear earrings like the fake earrings they um, irritate my ears so I have to spray them with alcohol alcohol and vero but Can take this, take your foundation, make sure your hands are clean, just same. So, we're gonna apply. Sorry, I'm looking in the mirror right here. So, we're gonna apply. We have good foundation, a good amount of foundation. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the brush, we're gonna press it like that. No stroking, no pushing it down, nothing. Just pressing it, taking your time and pressing it. People say they can't even cover one pimple. Oh, uh, well, we're gonna cover a couple. So, just to guys look here. Okay, so that's compared to that. Better? So, 
then do the same thing. Take your foundation and apply like how you're dabbing it on. I need a little more foundation on this side. I actually use two full pumps to uh, cover my whole skin. But don't apply too much, otherwise your face is gonna look cocky. And if you feel like there is a place you applied too much, take your brush and stroke it. It's, it's help you uh, apply the foundation evenly and distributed evenly throughout the skin. It's just a little too much. So when now I'm gonna use it as a sweeping motion in here. Because um, I don't really need a full coverage up there. Okay. And so for the match, you can just bring it down because there is no acne for us and we don't have to. about it. So make sure your neck is and your um, skin are the same color. Nobody want to see that. Having a two face on. Okay. So I look pretty even now. So if you need a little more, a little bit more coverage, uh, you want a little bit more fullness, you can take your concealer and you can highlight, you can draw your feature. So we're gonna do a little bit of that. So for my concealer, what I use is um, LA Girl Pro Concealers, and I use these two shades. Anything that is one or two shades lighter than your skin is perfect for you. Uh, if you don't have the same concealer I do. Um, invest into something different. Be creative. Everything has their um, own pros and cons. So invest what you like, not um, what you hear from people because what's good for me is not gonna be good for you. So we're gonna draw a triangle in here and try to cover up those um, circles, eye circles, dark skins, okay. So I'm gonna apply a little bit on uh, my blemishes. If I see something darker, I'm gonna apply there a little bit. So after I have that drawn, I'm gonna take my this brush and I'm gonna work with it as a petting motion too. And same thing to the other side. We're gonna highlight the area where the light is gonna reflect, okay? You don't have to be too crazy. You you can apply a little concealer and look natural, okay? I'm gonna blend this part in here. Okay. Now we're gonna take our um contour we're gonna do. Draw it. So are we gonna try to blend this upward, not down, up. And 
For this I have a perfect brush as an angle brush. And what I do to that so don't worry. I just don't want the product to dry out on the skin and not be able to blend it. And same thing to the side. I guess we applied a little too much on this side. Add a little too much. What you can do, take your foundation. And then it over like this. With the same brush we apply the foundation with. And if you want to emphasize it, that um, contouring you just create, you can have your concealer right at the bottom, just to highlight the part where you put um, your um, contour. It's gonna give you um, what is called dimension of going from darker shade to the lighter. See? Now you have a perfect cheek cut. You can already see the shadow where it's darkened and where it's giving the, you the illusion. Okay, so I have a chubby nose. A little too chubby, I would say. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take just a little bit of it, okay? And So I darken the parts that I want to um, do and we're going to take the same brush blend it down because we're going to create that shadow in here it's going to give us the illusion of more um, defined nose I would say that we're gonna highlight it with that I'm gonna use this one we don't want our contours to be too heavy otherwise it's it's not gonna look natural. I mean, if you do it, if you're doing good drag queen makeup, that's a totally different thing. And you can have a super duper dramatic contour and highlight. But um, if you're a person like me who like more subtle, that can be a great for you. And we're gonna finish off this look by applying some um, blush. I'm not gonna do the eyes. I'm just gonna get some shadow and just roughly go through it okay so let's apply the blush and um, let's highlight it so for highlight and for blush I hope this is not a blush oh 
have so much. I'm currently loving the the Lancome um, blush stubble duplicate oil free powder blush. I'm loving it. It's a very pretty, pretty, pretty pink. And that's the too bright, but that's the original color actually. That looks way too subtle when you apply it on your cheeks. So we're gonna apply the blush first actually. So for the blush, I'm just gonna go contouring is right here, so blush gonna go right in here and there we're gonna go the highlight. a very natural pink. I don't know, the camera is just showing it way too much. A little more settled now, <laughs> I guess. So after that, we're gonna take a fan brush, yeah! Any fan brush would work fine. We're just highlighting this part. We are highlighting that part and I'm going to highlight parts of my nose. Finish off with the lipstick. How do I look, guys? So that would be the finished look. I hope you guys liked it, and please subscribe to my channel. I know I did not do the eye makeup, but. I was more focused on face and um, what tricks and things you can do that can um, make the foundation last a little longer and uh, how to wear it properly. Like you see all those Instagram pictures where people take their selfie and they have the perfect makeup on. Now we got the trick girl. You're gonna be on the same page. Have fun. Bye guys.